Hey guys, Joseph here from Joe Concept, and this is 5 a.m. in the morning here. Um, this video is based on request, also that I had in my channel. So I have two people asking me about how to add dynamics to this. Remember this tutorial, something like this that I did. Um, that I did for in the last video where I added the spline to this. So I was told to add dynamics to the board that is connected to this. And I noticed when you add rigid body, I also experienced that problem. The ball falls down. So how can we add rigid body to it and still keep the dynamic while it's still attached to this? So that is what we want to do. So I've already done a setup here which I do not, I'm not going to go through over again. So if you don't understand how to do this setup, so all you just need to do is check the description below. I'm going to put a link in the description for tutorial on how to do this basic setup. So that is what we are going to so, but I'll just get to what we have for today. So let me just quickly make this setup work. So, okay, so it's here now, so it's working. So it is attached to this. So another thing I notice is um, if this branched object is on top of this hierarchy, it doesn't refresh fast some so sort of doesn't refresh fast. So what I did was to do something and change. So basically, I've already done the setup. My first um, setup was to create this point between this object, which is this um, this um, main spline. It's to use normal spline dynamic to attach this point, which is what I've done. So if you look at this. I made the expression the priority is zero. So um, I need the priority to be um, considered before other things. So that's when this is said. So it's more like me telling Cinema 40 to first of consider this expression before any other thing. So after this, the next thing is to consider um, the expresso expression. So after considering the expresso expression, then you can now consider the dynamics we have added to this. All right, so just note that. So once we're done with that, let us quickly add a um, sphere object and connect it. So I'll just bring this here. So that's the first thing I want to do. The second thing I'm going to do is to bring the point of this sphere to the top here. So I'm going to convert to the table format I want to come to the Y axis, positive Y axis, just move this up. So by the way, I'm just clicking the axis center. I've already added this to my um, scene. So anytime I open some of it, it's there. So I execute, it brings it up. Mind you, it only works for an editable object. It doesn't work for parametric object. So I'm going to bring it a little bit down. Okay, so, and sorry, before we continue, by the way, this is a new development. So uh, I just said I should quickly show you guys. But I noticed a problem at the end of it. So maybe if anybody knows the solution to that problem, I'm going to talk about, tell you what the problem is when we get there. So uh, if you have any solution to that, you could please help um, share so we can all learn. Don't forget, everyone is learning again. So. So let's just quickly get to it. So I'm going to bring this down and open this expresso. So I'm, I want this branched. I want to connect it to branch space. So I'll just click here, object. I'll bring this back here. So what I want to connect is this point. So I want to connect this sphere to this point. So if I go to the branch sphere, I so the branch spline and I select this point. If I go to structure, you know, tell me this has 12 points. So I need to change this to the point that I want to connect to, which is 12. Then I'm going to bring the sphere objects. 
So I want to connect this to object and bring the point position to this to the coordinates position position. So the sphere jumps, you can see that. So if I play this now, the sphere is there. So this was where we stopped, and I, I'm sure most of you would now add rigid tag to this, right? So once you add rigid tag to this guy, it falls down. This has been the problem. It will fall down. So how can we solve this such that this still keeps this object while the rigid tag is added to it? So this is the solution I found. For me to do that, I need to add a geometry to this for the interaction to come on this. So how are the geometries to bring in a capsule object? So we just quickly want to, you could decide to use um, sweep object if you want, but I want to use this. There are different ways you can achieve it anyway. So I have this, I'm going to increase this um, height segment because I need more segment at the height level, but the width I don't really need. So the rotation, I'm going to bring this low just for speed purpose. And also, I think this is fine. So I'm going to go to the former and bring spline wrap, make the spline wrap a child of the capsule. So the spline wrap is asking for spline field. I'm going to put this branch there. So this is what I'm going to have. So I need to just change the axis to pointing for which is positive y. So I have this. So this is the solution to this. So now I've already added geometry to this. So anywhere this plane goes, this capsule also go with it. But then this doesn't connect to it. So for me to create connection between this guy. I need to use um, what is called a connector and connector works for dynamic objects, for rigid objects. So um, for me to create a connection, I need to add um, a dynamic tag to this. But because I want this to stick to this, I'm going to add a rigid body to this. So even I know that I don't really need the dynamic on this capsule. What I need dynamics on is on the branch, which has already been added. So uh, anywhere this capsule goes, the anywhere this branch goes, rather right, the capsule follows it. So we don't really need dynamics and two dynamics. So it, it, it only makes sense. So here I'm going to put in a collider object to this. And for the collider object, I'm going to change the collision shape from automatic to moving mesh because the mesh is moving. So if I play, it still falls down because I need to create connection between them. So if I go to simulate dynamics, what I need is connector. So if I go to connector, so this connector is at this point. So let me try and bring it close to this to object. All right, so it's close enough. So I need to create a relationship between the connection between this and this connector only works for with for dynamic subjects. So if I come to the connector, I want to let me bring it in between these two objects that I need there. So the first object I want is capsule, so it's going to create the link. And the second object is going to be the sphere and also creates that link. So but right now I want so this blue part is the um, second and this yellow part is the first one. So I want to rotate this accordingly. So since this blue part that is connected to this, if I move this back, you see, this is connected to this and this is connected to this. So I need to rotate this accordingly so that the blue part is on that section and the yellow part is there. So if I move this and make it centered, so I could go to the connector and go to display and just reduce this. It might be too much. So 10 is fine. So I have this. So we could just bring this centered and possibly move it down. Okay. So once we have this, so this is where the problem is. Like I said, um, as this guy swings, I noticed that this um, 
capsule moves out of this even though there is a um, rigid body to it so that's the issue with this so if you have any solution to this you could just um, prefer i would appreciate so this is it so you now have this dynamics added to this but then you can see this is the issue i was talking about so how do you know that this object the rigid body is really having effect if i go and create a an emitter and bring the emitter towards this direction such that it interacts with this so for this emitter i don't want uh, you notice the way the old particles are flying about and it's because this um turbulence is affecting me. so if i go to the emitter i go to include i'll change it to sorry yeah i change it to include instead of exclude so it doesn't affect i can control what affects it okay so i'll create small spheres so let's say this is going to be five you could use any value so just i want to change the 15. So I just want to have random sphere. So I think this might be too much. 10, 7, and have. So I'll bring all of them. Let's chart of this and show objects, tangential. So I have this. If I play, so I need to create relationship so that these balls affect this. So let's see what happens. So if I make this 2020 and make the timeline so that it dies very fast. So let's try 60. So this will die once it gets to 60 frames. So I don't want to have too much sphere outside. So we could still go to 45. Then I want the lifetime to be more than Okay, so this is the lifetime. So I want the end emission to be more than 150. So maybe your end emission will be 400. So it continues emitting. So let's quickly create the relationship. So if I right click on this emitter, emitter <laughs> sorry, emitter, and put in a dynamic object, it falls. Yes, it is just okay for it to fall. The reason is because I need to go to the collision section change the inheritor to apply to children and the individual elements at top level so that it doesn't affect the emitter of parents but only the children so if i play so you can see that there's actually dynamics to this so you see that the balls are hitting this so if i come to this and increase the speed so let's say 300 so that they bounce off from this more so if I, if you see that they are actually hitting this and the dynamics is added so this guy has a dynamic to it and is interacting with other dynamics or dynamic objects so and that's my solution of how to add that and connect so that it doesn't fall but the issue is now that i need to re rewind and replay but as it's hitting you notice this um capsule object that is the problem now i have so um this is this is it really this is it. just make use of your connector so if um you have another solution to this to keeping this guy connected without it um shifting then i would really appreciate you guys sharing it because i also want to know how to solve this so this is how I will go about this. So thank you for the comment. Um, it pushed me to learn more. So, and I really appreciate. So if you feel this was helpful, please do give me a like and a thumbs up and I appreciate your comments and your requests. I'll keep them coming and I'll try and find solutions to them for those that I'll find solutions to. So do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.